the strawberry thief. On the top of a strange looking mountain, there was a town named Sherryland. Cherries, berries, strawberries, you name it, it had it all. But wait, where are the strawberries? Ah! Oh no! The strawberry thief stole all the strawberries! We have to go to the chief! Hmm, the chief. The chief came to be appointed as the leader of Sherryland when he was a young boy. And somehow, he had only become richer. So much so, that he custom made his throne into pure gold. Other than his wealth, the chief was also famous for dramatic entrances. <gasps> <coughs> I'm here. Don't be afraid, Sherry's. <coughs> we don't know what to do. Ours is the fifth house that the strawberry thief has robbed. Crime in Sherryland. This is not acceptable. But we know one thing about these strawberry thieves for sure now. They are cowards. Our strawberries have magical healing powers. So they steal them in the middle of the night and vanish into thin air. One thing I tell you about crime, Sherry's. Every crime arises out of fear. The strawberry thieves are afraid of something. Maybe of being caught. <clears throat> but Chief, our strawberries grow round the year. Why would anybody steal something that was easily available? And how are you so sure that there is more than one thief? What? N no, I, I didn't... Why don't you focus on the gardens, <laughs> Glint? I will help you. Trust your Chief. Glint was appointed to tend to the vast gardens of the Chief's house. He loved his job, but he was always suspicious of the chief. Each time the chief was questioned about his wealth, the chief always gave the same response. It is all my parents' wealth that they left to me. Somehow, Glint never trusted that reply. Instead, he always kept a close watch on the chief. <clears throat> chief, those lollies are for the children of Sherryland. <clears throat> I, I know, of course I do. Uh, huh? No crime is ordinary, and stealing strawberries of Sherryland was definitely not. That's because the strawberries here had magical healing powers, and they grew round the year. Sherryland always gave away its magical strawberries to all the neighboring towns for free. So for someone to steal them made no sense at all. But the crime continued nevertheless. On the other hand, Glint had some very disturbing news that he discussed with his friend, Ramona. Chief is stealing the strawberries. He is the strawberry thief. <coughs> Excuse me? I saw him do it, Ramona. I saw him steal the strawberries from outside the house on the edge of night. What I don't understand is why. I thought he is selling it to others for money rather than give it away for free, something that Sherryland has always done. I follow him everywhere, but he's not selling it. So why would he steal it? Ramona could not believe what she was hearing, but she knew Glint since they were children. He wouldn't lie about something like this. This is unbelievable. Even if I believe you, no one else would. Hmm. You know, I've been thinking about what he said the other day. Every crime arises out of fear. The strawberry thief is afraid of something. He is right. It's fear that makes us do wrong things. Once we face our fears, we don't have to commit the crime. We must find out what the chief is afraid of and what fear is making him commit the crime of stealing in his own town. Saying thus, Glint waved goodbye to his friend and walked back home, when suddenly... Ah! Let me go! Who, who are you? Uh, calm down, will ya? <gasps> What was that smell? Tinto, is that your t-shirt you brought him in? Well, uh, uh, well it was a last minute plan. Ugh, that was his t-shirt? Wait, whoa, where am I? Aha, welcome to Tomato Land. Tomato Land, really? <laughs> well, we love tomatoes, and we live in your gardens, so the name is appropriate. You live in our gardens? 
Tinto, you are confusing him. Glint, I am Gina. This is Lenny, and the one who brought you here is Tinto. And we are the garden gnomes of Sherryland. You see the ones who have magically doubled in your town since past few months? Oh, yes. You are the one that Ramona found in her backyard. Well, let's just say I wanted her to find me. A good woman she is. Takes real good care of me. <sighs> Unfortunately, this cannot be said about your chief. What do you mean? Lenny and Gina took Lynn to the alcove of their history and showed him what it really meant to be a garden gnome. We heal people. That is what we always did. Our brothers and sisters have been around Sherryland for centuries, healing all kinds of wounds and ailments. But some years back, something happened. Our healing powers were affected. Garden gnomes all over the world felt it, and we started receiving complaints from everywhere. And then we hear that the town of Sherryland is growing strawberries with magical healing powers. Coincidence, you think? You mean, it's our bijou. Be who? Bijou. It's a magical trinket, the source of our healing power. Our ancestors had safely hidden it here, in Tomato Land. The gnomes told Glint that they most respectfully asked the chief to return their bijou. But instead, he tried to get the gnomes arrested. But he came up with another plan. He began to steal strawberries so that he can blame it on us. He wants everybody to think that you are the strawberry thieves so that no one believes you when you tell them the truth. This is what he is hiding. He is trying to keep something that doesn't belong to him. His greed and lies are making him do more wrong things. We brought you here because you are the only one who seemed to get to know his wrong intentions. Thought you might believe us. We cannot trust anybody else. You are speaking the truth and he is covering a lie. You shouldn't be hiding. I'm with you. Sherryland will listen to me. We will not only get your bijou back, but also bring the chief to justice. That day was the most majestic in the town of Sherryland. Sherry's watched as the realm of the gnomes crashed with theirs, and portals started opening out of thin air. What is happening? Ah! Good day, miss. Huh? And all the gnomes marched towards the chief. <gasps> the strawberry thieves have captured Glint. Arrest them. No, stop it, chief. You know very well that they are not the strawberry thieves. You are. <gasps> that makes no sense. Why would I steal something that I have created myself? That is exactly why. Because you never created the healing strawberries. You stole their bijou and powered the strawberries. We demand that you return the bijou back to the gnomes. <gasps> the chief was so scared that once again he decided to run. But Ramona would not have it. Hi ah! This is not how you treat your chief. Chief, you are a prisoner of your own crimes. Truth always sets you free, chief. Glint leaped and grabbed the trinket off the chief's hands. As soon as the trinket was away from the chief, it automatically went to the gnomes. <laughs> Thank you, Glint. We had lost all hope. As the bijou went back to the gnomes, so did the magic of the strawberries. But the gnomes came up with another plan. They taught all the Sherrys the art of healing. They taught them that love, empathy, truth, and affection is what creates magic in the universe. The magic of the healing strawberries emanated within the Sherrys. The realms of magic and humans had once again come together to make something beautiful. The magical Sherrys would now travel around the realms and towns, healing and teaching the art of truth and honesty. Over the years, the neighboring towns and realms reported zero crimes as everybody began to own their truth. As for Glint, well, regardless to say he was made the chief of Sherryland, he still loved his gardens and kept his old and new friends very close, and they all lived happily ever after. Well, with a hint of strawberries. <laughs> <laughs>